The economically relevant characteristics of the long-run production function focus primarily on the substitutability of labor for capital, the impact of innovation on the productivity of inputs, and returns to scale. The flatter the isoquant, the easier it is to respond to changes in input markets by substituting away from the relatively more expensive input. Innovation allows a firm to sell the same output with fewer inputs. In this case, the innovation has made capital relatively more productive, shifting in the isoquant from Q1 to Q2 and lowering the marginal rate of technical substitution as indicated by the slope of the tangent lines. A production process is characterized by constant returns to scale if the function is homogeneous of degree one. Doubling inputs from four to eight, for example, exactly doubles output. With decreasing returns to scale, doubling inputs fall short of doubling output. Doubling inputs when increasing returns to scale are present more than doubles output. Take care to distinguish returns to scale, which refers to the long run when all inputs are variable, from total and marginal returns to the variable input in the short run when other inputs are fixed. Even though in this slide this function exhibits increasing returns to scale, if capital is fixed at 8 units, then moving from 0 to 20 units of output requires only a bit over 2 units of labor, while moving from 20 to 40 requires nearly 4 additional units of labor. So, we are very quickly in a range of diminishing marginal returns to labor when we fix capital at 8.